Hello, my name is Mari Weaver and this is Michael Arnold. And we're here today to talk to you about FEAT, F-E-A-T, Five Element Acupuncture Training. Now for many of you watching, you will have already studied Five Elements and you'll know a bit about it. But for some people, maybe it's a new idea and we'd like to introduce this fantastic system of medicine to inspire you and bring you back to nature. Yes, because that's really what we're doing. We're working with nature and we're one of the reasons we wanted to do this video outdoors is to kind of bring that natural element into it because that's what we're, we're doing with, with this system of, of acupuncture. It's really, it's nature that does the healing really, isn't it? It's, yes, it's it not is. us. Yes, it's not no. us. And mainly in five element acupuncture we're looking for the causative factor. So Michael, what is the causative factor? Well the causative factor, is, simply put, is just the cause of that person's imbalance, the cause of right. their illness. And um, Can this happen at any time? It, it often happens early on in life that this weakness develops. Uh, it can happen before birth even. Okay. Um, but it's usually often early on in, in life. It could be from a traumatic birth. It could be from something that happens early on in life. What yes. Stresses and strains are, are inevitable in life. Yes. And what, what happens is early on in life that will cause a weakness in one of the five elements. Right. Uh, if you can imagine like kind of the, the five elements being five links in a chain. And if, if you kind of put stress on that, if you pull on that chain, one of those is, is going gonna, is gonna to break or it's going to become weaker than the others. And that's kind of similar to what the causative factor is. It's just a, a weakness that develops early on in life, um, which the person will then have throughout the rest of their life. But, but that doesn't mean that you can't treat it. And in fact, that's what we're doing. We're, we're finding the causative factor and we're treating it in order to strengthen it. And when you strengthen it, that's, that's the best treatment you can do for that person in this system. Because then, of course, if you're feeling strong and balanced within yourself, you cope with life differently. Sometimes we can't change what's happening around us, but we certainly can change our perspective and our coping mechanisms. So, Michael, how do we find the causative factor? Well, finding the causative factor is really about using our senses. Uh, so we need to lose our mind and come to our senses. That, that's a... Uh, J.R. Worsley. Worsley often said that and, and, and so did Nora about losing your mind and, and coming to your senses and, and that's what we're doing, we're, we're using um, the, the colour, the sound, the odour and the emotion Right. and these are all things that people will give off when one of the, the five elements is out of balance and in fact they will all come from one of the five elements which is the causative factor and different ones of our senses pick it up so that our eyes will pick up the colour, our ears will pick up the sound, our nose will pick up the smell, but it's really the same thing. It's, it's the, the signals from the causative factor saying, I'm the one that needs the help, please come and help me. And of course, once that is helped, once that on a very deep level is helped, then of course people do respond very quickly. Now, it is an art, obviously, to find the causative factor. That's why we're suggesting you come to the school. But it, you don't have to get it right all the time. You, it's, you don't have to put yourself under pressure. The most important thing really is that you relax and you learn to be. And you just take your time with everything. Because that's really how it works, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. I think there's a lot of pressure we put on ourselves to get it right all the time. And, and particularly in our society, we're, in fact, we're, we're trying to help patients to, to kind of take off that pressure from themselves. So, so we need to, to do the same for ourselves. Yes. We, we need to allow ourselves... A, to, to get it wrong sometimes, because that's how we learn. If we don't get it wrong, we're not going to then learn how, how we can get better at getting the CF. Also, intention has a lot to do with it. Definitely, yeah. Intention is very important, and just basically being present. Mm. I think that's very important. Exactly, allowing the, the, the colour, sound, and odour and emotion to come to us, rather than when we're trying too hard, but I think that's when we create struggle and strain, if we're just allowing things to come to us. So if you'd like to come along to the course, we want to sit down and really go through everything. It's going to be very informal, it's going to be very interactive. We can bring patients, you can bring your own patients, we can all talk about how it works and the best way, the best method in which to treat people. Mm. Yeah, I mean that, that's the really key part is that it's an experiential course, it's not just about learning the theory, it's, it's about actually improving your skills in a very practical way. So we're going to be going through rapport skills, which are vital to, to diagnosing. You know, if you have rapport with, with a yeah. person, it's much, much easier to, to, to diagnose the CF and to find out what that person really needs. We're going to talk about point selection. Once you have diagnosed the CF, we're going to help you choose the correct points. 
we're going to deal with energy blocks. That's right, blocks for treatment. How to diagnose those blocks. Um, what else? Uh, treatment planning, how to kind of plan long-term treatment for, for yeah. a patient from the first treatment to, say, the 10th treatment or the 20th treatment even. And we're going to have some fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most importantly, we're going to have some we're fun. We're going to have some fun. So if you'd like to come to one of our open days, all the details of that hopefully will be below this video. That's right. Hopefully, yeah, if, if you found this video useful or interesting or perhaps inspiring, uh, we yeah, invite you to, to come along and find out more and come to one of our open days. So, or call us. Our number again will be below the video. Yeah, if you've got any questions, just, just give us a call. We'll look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.